Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another episode of Islam the Way of Life, um, our show dedicated to you young people here on Ikra Bangla. I'm your host, Abul Hasnat. I hope you are well, alhamdulillah, and I hope you've been enjoying yourself since our last episode and trying out some of the games that we do all the time. Inshallah. Um, got so much more to talk about and got some games to do here today as well. But before I do any of that, Let's begin, as we always do, with Quranic recitation. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا إِمَّا يَبْلُغَنَّ عِنْدَكَ الْكِبَرَ أَحَدُهُمَا أَوْ كِلَاهُمَا فَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا فَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُفٍّ وَلَا تَنْهَرْهُمَا وَقُلْ لَهُمَا قَوْلًا كَرِيمًا وَاخْفِضْ لَهُمَا جَنَاحَ الذُّلِّ مِنَ الرَّحْمَةِ وَقُلْ رَبِّ رُحَمْهُمَا وَقُلْ رَبِّ ارْحَمْهُمَا كَمَا رَبَّيَانِي صَغِيرًا رَبُّكُمْ أَعْلَمُ بِمَا فِي نُفُوسِكُمْ إِنْ تَكُونُوا صَالِحِينَ فَإِنَّهُ كَانَ لِلْأَوَّابِينَ غَفُورًا وَآتِ ذَا الْقُرْبَى حَقَّهُ وَالْمِسْكِينَ وَابْنَ السَّبِيلِ وَلَا تُبَذِّرْ تَبْذِيرًا إِنَّ الْمُبَذِّرِينَ كَانُوا إِخْوَانَ الشَّيَاطِينَ وَكَانَ الشَّيْطَانُ لِرَبِّهِ كَفُورًا وَإِمَّا تُعْرِضَنَّ عَنْهُمْ ابْتِغَاءَ رَحْمَةٍ مِنْ رَبِّكَ تَرْجُوهَا فَقُلْ لَهُمْ قَوْلًا مَيْسُورًا صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَظِيمُ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَالِيُ الْعَظِيمُ MashaAllah, as we always have our Quran recitation. Thank you very much for that. Now, um, I've got some returning guests and I'm going to allow them to introduce themselves as they always do. So, young person on the far side, when you're ready, do salam and say your name and your age. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Kyra and I'm nine years old. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back, Kyra. Young person in the middle, where you go? Assalamu alaikum. My name is Khadija and I am eight years old. Wa alaikum salam. Welcome back, Khadija. And young person next to me, when you're ready, do salam and say your name and age. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Zia and I am seven years old. Wa alaikum salam and welcome back as well, Zia. Good to have you both. And I hope you guys um, have done wa alaikum salam as well to the guests. Right. Um, as we usually do, we are going to do some Quran challenge questions and then we're going to move on to look at some quotes and we'll discuss the quotes. We have another good deed video for you and of course then we finish up with one of our games and my guests today have chosen to play Yes No. If you haven't played this before, um, then watch on until the end of the episode to see how to play this game. And if you have, see if you can try this challenge as well. Right, so. Um, thank you for coming back, guys, because I'm going to now do our regular Quran questions. So, like before, you can team up or you can answer individually. I'm going to leave it up to you. But let's start off with our first Quran question, which is 
which, and I want you guys at home as well to try these questions, because some of them can be tricky, some of them are quite straightforward, so who's the first person to say the answer? So here we go. Which prophet was born miraculously without a father? Prophet Isa. Prophet Isa. Do you think Khadija is right, Cairo? Prophet Muhammad. You think Prophet Muhammad? You think Prophet Isa? Who do you think, Prophet um, Zia? Prophet Isa. Prophet Isa. What do you guys think at home? Which prophet was born miraculously without a father? The right answer is Prophet Isa. Well done, you two. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Ooh, this might be a bit of a tricky one. Who were Habil and Qabil? Cain and Abel. Who were Habil and Qabil? What do you think, guys? Who were Habil and Qabil? Remember, these are stories from the Quran. So who was Habil and Qabil? Isaac and Ishaq. You think they were Isaac and Ishaq. So you think they were two brothers. Okay. What do you think, Zia? Who were Habil and Qabil? I don't know. You don't know. Kyra? Adam and... Adam's... Son. Adam's sons. Okay. I have two possible answers here. Do you guys know at home? Khadija thinks it's the two brothers, Ishaq and um, Ismail. And you think it's the sons of Prophet Adam. One thing you both got right were, they are brothers. But Kaira is right. Krabil and Habil are the sons of Prophet Adam. So well done. And we can, um, maybe we'll talk about the story in a moment. Um, about the story of Krabil and Habil. Right. Next question, the geography question. Name the most sacred place which is known as Masjid al-Haram. Name the most sacred place which is known as Masjid al-Haram. What is Masjid al-Haram? The Kaaba. Kaira says straight away the Kaaba. What do you think, Khadija? Kaaba. What do you think? Kaaba. Do you guys agree with them at home? Yeah, it was an easy one. Well done. Masjid al-Haram is the Kaaba. Okay, now, a bit of a tricky one, but name the month in which Hajj was performed. Name the month in which Hajj was performed. Dhul Hijjah. Dhul Hijjah. What do you think? Dhul Hijjah. What do you think? Dhul Hijjah. Dhul Hijjah. Well done. Yes. Dhul Hijjah, one of the famous um, lunar months. Dhul Hijjah. Yes, that is the month in which Hajj is performed. I'm going to do a quick little test. Do you know all the months of... Do you know all the Islamic months? Some. Okay. Which ones do you know? Ramadan. Ramadan. Okay, that's a good one. So you know Dhul Hijjah, you know Ramadan. What other months can you name? Maharam. Muharram, very good. Muharram. Can you name any more, Kaira? You've got, you've got to catch up Rajab. with the girls. Rajab, very good. Safa. Not quite, not quite. Safa is, uh, is, is a phrase. Kaira, can you get any? I'm going to go in order. Let's see if you can keep up with me, guys. Muharram, actually, sorry, I'm going to take that back. The second month is Safa, very good. Muharram Safar, Rabiul Awwal, Rabiul Thani, Jamad al Ula, Jamad al Ukhra, Rajab, Shaban, Ramadan, Shawwal, Dhul Qada, and Dhul Hijjah. I don't know why I forgot Safar, but well done, uh, Khadija, you got two of them. Safar is a month. So well, those are the 12 months of Ramadan. I'm uh, 12 months of Ramadan, so I know. Those are the 12 months in Islam. Alhamdulillah, right, that's our Quran questions done. We are going to now. Not going to a challenge, we're going to work together. We're going to move on to the quotes. So we do like these quotes. Um, Ramadan Mubarak is the name of the book by Tariq Hussain. And Tariq has a collection of quotes. Some hadith, some from the Quran, some famous sayings from people. So I, am, I have chosen this quote that's done by Mufti Menk. And I'm going to read this out. And these guys are going to discuss to me what this, um, what this quote means to them. So Mufti Menk said... Do you guys know who Mufti Menk is? Yeah? He's a big, big, um, a big scholar that does YouTube, um, that has become famous on YouTube, doesn't do it on purpose. He, he, he was there before YouTube, but YouTube has elevated his uh, talks and his videos. So Mufti Menk said, The Almighty has made each one of us unique, and there's only one of you. Focus on being the best version of yourself. So Mufti Meng's quote, and I'll repeat it. 
The Almighty has made each one of us unique and there is only one of you. So focus on being the best version of yourself. Zia, what do you think um, Mufti Menke is saying there? It means that no one else can have the same uh, face, a face as you. That's, yeah, that's one of the things he means. That maybe nobody else has, um, can have the same face as you. What if you had an identical twin? They might have the same face, but there'd be something different, wouldn't there? Everybody, different body. Yeah? Different body. Maybe, yeah, you're right. Identical twins. Um, different different body. Go on, they, Khadija. They might like different stuff. Very good. They might have different personalities, isn't it? They might like different stuff, as you're saying. Kyra, what do you think? Uh, that everybody is unique, because that's what he's trying to say. Yeah, he is. And what does unique mean to you? Different. Yeah, that everything is different. Nobody else can have what you have, isn't it? Yeah. Um, he says there, focus on being the best version of yourself. What do you think Mufti Menk is trying to tell you there? Or how would you do that? How would you focus on being the best version of yourself? What would you do to be the best version of yourself? Do you think you would walk around with an <laughs> angry face and talk horrid words? Is that a good version of yourself? What would you do? Be nice. Be nice, yeah. Khadija, what would you do to be the best version of yourself? You can smile at people. Very good. Be smiling at people all the time. Very good. Kyra. Be kind to others. Be kind to others. That could be the best version of yourself. You choose what you think is your best version of yourself. You might be somebody that... Um, loves surahs, so the best version of yourself would be to memorise as many surahs as you can. You might be someone that loves football. So the best version of yourself is to play as much football and be good at football maybe. Um, give me another example. What, and what would be another example of trying to be the best version of yourself? Help others. You might be the best at helping others. So you want to be the best version of yourself at helping others, yeah. You might want to be a TV presenter, be the best version of a TV presenter. So do what best you can. I'm doing my best. Maybe it might be good, might not be, but I'm doing my very best and I'm focusing on doing my best. Very good. Right. We are going to do some Quranic recitation. Um, Kyra has promised to me that she's going to try to do Surah Takathun, one that she has learned, but she needs to put practice in. So, to, so we can take a chance on doing um, Takathun today, aren't we? Okay. Um, and then Zia has said that she will try a short surah for us, won't you, Zia? Yeah? Good, inshallah. So, Kyra, when you are ready, if you can look into the camera, puff your chest up, get as much air as you can, and nice and loudly do surah takathur. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhaakum takathur. Hatta zurutum al-maqabir. Kalla sawfa ta'alamun. Thumma kalla sawfa ta'alamun. Kalla law ta'alamun ilm al-yaqeen. Latarawun al-jaheem. Thumma latarawun ha'ayn al-yaqeen. Thumma latus'alun yawm aydan anil naeem. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, well done Kyra. And it's very brave of Kyra to do that because it can be quite nerve-wracking doing it in front of a camera, in front of lots of lights in the studio. So well done to you Kyra, that's really good. Okay, and um, Zia, it's going to be your first time to try this. So when you're ready, look into the camera, start with A'udhu Billah, Bismillah, and give us Surah Ikhlas. Ulhu Allah, okay? A'udhu Billah, Minash Shaitani Rajeem, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. كُلُّهُ لَهُ وَهَدَ اللَّهُ السَّمَدْ لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُلَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُّ وَنَحَدْ MashaAllah, Mumtaz, Tabarakallah. Well done, that's very good. And again, well done to Zia. It's a, it's a very brave thing to do. You can practice at home in front of mum and dad. It's easy, but to come and do it in front of an audience, in front of cameras, in front of lights, it is quite difficult. So well done to the, both of you. And last week we got um, Khadija to do us uh, Surah Kawthar, which is really nice. I want to talk about Surah Ikhlas, Qul Hu Allah, um, because it's, it's a surah that's only got four ayahs, but there's such strong words. And we read Qul Hu Allah throughout the day. 
to give us blessings and to uh, to be a protection on us. Can you guys um, name other times that we got reaps in Kulhuwalla? Kyra, what do you think? When when else should we try to reach Kulhuwalla? In the night. In the night, yeah. Is it before going to bed? Do you read it before going to bed? I no? read it sometimes. You read it sometimes. But you're slowly going to get used to it, isn't it? So, Qul Allah is one of the surahs that we read at night before we go to sleep, um, alongside uh, Surah Falak, Surah Nas, and then you blow into your hands and wipe over it. It's one of the azkars that we do um, to protect ourselves. Um, so, we do it at night. We should also try to do it in the mornings. Yeah. And some people say that if you're suddenly scared or you, you're fearing something, sometimes inside your head reading Qul Allah helps. Um, it's... There's so many things out there um, that Qul Huwalla is an amazing surah um, and it's one of the strongest surahs. And even the meaning, if you think about it, it's such a simple meaning. Allah is telling us how He is the one and only and there is nobody else. And you, as long as we remember that Allah is one and Allah is the only creator, we should be happy with that, inshallah. So, brilliant. Well done. Okay. You guys ready for the game? Are you guys at home ready for the game? We are going to do the yes-no game because it's always good fun. Um, for those of you that don't know how the yes-no game works, I will be asking a series of questions and I will be asking non-stop for one minute and they have, to answer, they have to answer the questions without saying yes or no or not or don't. Or maybe we'll keep don't because that's going to be quite hard. So you can't say yes, no or not and they cannot repeat an answer. They can't sit there saying, maybe, 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 maybe. Won't work, that's not part of the game. So, who wants to go first? What's the bell for? Hmm? What's the bell for? If you say yes or no, I'm going to go <laughs> and hit the bell. And you won't realise. Some people don't realise there's a yes or no, and you have to remind them of the bell. Okay? What I might do, actually, I might let Zia... Can you reach that? Hit the bell for me. So if you hear anyone say yes or no, then you have to hit the bell, okay? Well, she says yes or no. Um, I'll do it. <laughs> or, okay, I'll get you to hold it on your, on, on your leg and do, give us a bell, yeah? Okay, right. I'm going to start with... Let's start with Khadija. You ready? Okay, Khadija. You've got one minute uh, to answer all these questions without saying yes, no or not. Starting from now. How many shoes do you own? I don't really own any shoes. Um, no, I meant how many pairs of shoes? Two. Two? Oh, okay. Um, do you like them? <laughs> you took too long to answer. Ah, okay. This is quite hard, isn't it? Do you really like your shoes? <laughs> That's hard, wasn't it? Let me try you, Kyra. You ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. Listen. One and one makes two. Is that right? Kind of. Oh, what did you say? Kind, kind of. of. Okay. And two add two makes four, yes? Maybe. Maybe? Okay, then. That's four and four make eight. I am right, aren't I? Oh, you took too long to answer. You've got to answer in five seconds. So, Khadija heard you and she said, say correct, say correct, but you didn't hear her. So you've got to try to use different words. It's quite a hard game, isn't it? Um, Zia, are you ready? Yeah? Okay. Three, two, one. Do you like going shopping? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll accept mm-hmm. What do you like shopping the most for? Toys. That's the best thing to shop for, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You repeated mm-hmm. <laughs> It's quite hard, isn't it? Right. I'm going to come back to you, Khadija. Do you like being tickled? Kind of. Do you think it's fun? A bit. What about tickling someone else? Is that fun? Uh, 
kind of. You repeated kind of. You said it twice. Okay, uh, Kyra. What was the last last book you read, Kyra? What was the name of the book? The last book that you read. Uh, Rumpy Kid. Okay. Did you Did you like it? A bit. Was it any good? Kind of. Do you think I should read it? If you want. Um. Okay. Why do you think I should repeat it? Um, why do you think I should read it? Because it's good. Are you sure? Kind of. Did she say kind of twice? Yeah. Could have said definitely. Could have said definitely, yeah. Okay, is it? You ready? You're going to read my last one. Right. Three, two, one, go. In your head, count up to five. Now add another five. Take away two. You should have the answer six, don't you? Ah. Uh. No. Did she say no? She said ah. Uh. Ah, uh, she said ah. Uh. Okay, we'll carry no, on. No, I said nah. Nah. -uh. Nah. -uh. Okay, that's a weird response. Okay, uh, let's, let's carry on. So if you didn't get six, what did you get? Eight? What did you get? Eight. Do you think you're right? Mm-hmm. Um, okay, well, let's do it again. Five plus five. Take away two. Make six, right? Wrong. Wrong, okay, yeah. Um, okay then, so what does it equal to? Eight? Yeah? Yes? Time's up. That was hard, wasn't it? We've run out of time, guys. I didn't even look at the clock. We're having so much fun playing this game and we've run out of time because I've had to thank you. Right. Alhamdulillah. Thank you to my guests. Thank you to you guys at home for joining us and staying with us for all our episodes. Please continue to write in to us and send us messages and send us your good deed videos. I've got to quickly rush off because I've overstayed my time with this fun game. Inshallah, I hope to see you in our next episode. Until then, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.